Yeah. Okay, so this came out in the reverse, but this is a man. He's trying to hide something. He's got his head covered. He has sunglasses on. So he was being incognito. He was not being honest about who he was. So he could have even given you a false alias, a false name um, about who he was. He could have pretended to be somebody he was not. He kept his identity he hidden. Um, he did not want you to see who he really was because he didn't have good intentions. So, I, I mean, I hate to say it, but he could have been, you could have been a target. He could have been using you from the start. And that's, that, <laughs> these cards that came out just kind of, this just goes along with that. So you could have been at work, you could, you know, there's a musician, so maybe something related to music, maybe you were listening to music, playing music, something to music, and that is a, in the reverse. And this person was watching you from behind the scenes. You see this man, he is sitting behind the fence and watching this group of people. So while you were at work or wherever he met you, he was watching you. So you were targeted by this person. He intended... Um, he had every intention of being in a relationship with you, but it was always for the wrong reasons because this is in the reverse. He had bad tensions and this is in the past. He was watching you before he ever approached you. He watched you. So in this picture, you have two men and in this picture you have, um, a crossway. Um, on a trail with two directions being marked. So you are going to have a choice to make between two men. And this is in the upright. Um, so you are going to have a choice to make regarding two individuals at a, at a certain time in the near future. And that could also be why this person is coming back because they know that you may have another option and they don't want you to move forward. They want to establish their dominance, which, which goes back to the gorilla. Okay, so the first card that came out is a cycle, um, if you see the metal um, gear, it's like a bicycle gear and it's in the upright. So you broke a cycle. So maybe you even broke the cycle of abuse with this person. This came out in the reverse, two men. So this person could have even been involved in a same-sex relationship or he was working with another male to come towards you. You are in a new cycle. Um, you are moving forward. This is luck. I see this as the wheel of fortune because it is circular. Um, so the luck is changing and it looks like it's changing in your favor. Um, good luck for you, bad luck for them because the cycle being broken is in the upright. So you broke whatever abusive cycle this was so that you can move forward. And this is the, um, it, to me it looks like the tree. It almost looks like hangman energy. So you may be chilling, hanging out, and you are relaxed at this time, and maybe this person is stuck at the moment, but you are okay. You are in the upright, so it may even be a Pisces coming towards you at some point. If you have a choice between two individuals, one of them may be a water sign, or you could be a water sign. I'm a Pisces, so you could be the Pisces since it is in the upright. <clears throat> okay now i see what's going on okay 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 <clears throat> so this looks like the wind blowing in reverse so somebody got ghosted in the past and 
maybe you thought that they were your twin flame. You thought this person was your divine counterpart, but they were not. This is in the reverse. And this looks like two towers. Um, it also looks like a factory. So you could have met this person at work. So, and I, I don't always associate red with masculine energy, but, um, a male could have ghosted you because of work, or maybe you thought they were working, but they were ghosting work to go do other things. So they may have um, pretended to be going to work so they could watch you. This is in reverse. And if you look in this picture, there's a mirror there. And people are just going on about their lives like there's a little family, there's a get-together. But someone is watching this family in a mirror. So uh, someone watched this group, this family. Um, so they, uh, they were watching with an intent for some reason. So someone may have ghosted you at a work at work, or you may have lost your job, um, but they were watching you at work while you were working. So you met this person on the job, I feel like. And there was a bad business deal that happened. It, they got burned really badly. So they may, um, and it's hard to tell in this picture, but the the one man has small flames around him, and this other man is engulfed in flames. And this um, was in reverse. So they made a bad business deal. So maybe they thought they were burning you, and they ended up getting burned. So maybe you lost your job, but they lost their job and so much more. So they are suffering right now because they lost a lot by what they have done to you. And I don't think it's over yet. And this person that ghosted you, because that's what I get from this um, white energy, like blowing in the breeze, I feel like ghosted energy. This person that, that ghosted you in the past, or you ghosted this person. So after maybe they caused, costed you your job, you ghosted them, so you left them. So maybe they left you hanging out and think, and they wanted you to think that they ghosted you, but then you left them for good. And they're still watching you. If It's hard to see, but they're still watching. There is um, like a woman in a bathing suit and she's unaware that she's being watched. So these fell on the floor sideways. This is happiness, ten of cups. So you have happiness coming to you. And possibly a marriage proposal and good health. So you have, um, and this is the, the ace of cups. So you could have a marriage proposal coming to you because if you see this couple standing here, they are in union, there's kids playing. So, um, and cups is related to love. So you could have a, a proposal on its way to you. Um, <laughs> big <laughs> ace of wands. Um, I've heard other readers call it every time I see this picture, I, uh, I hear big dick energy. Big, so every time I see this, I think of big dick, big wand energy. So this person, the big weenie, um, could become, is coming back. He's coming back and he may be the one that's going to offer you this proposal. He may be offering you even finances, page of pentacles, but he's going to come. He's still immature. If he's coming as a page of pentacles, he's obviously broke and he could still be in this immature energy. Um, that is a younger energy coming through. And that is because you have financial stability coming um, or you are financially stable and that has been brought to light. And you have been... Um, 
speaking the truth. So you you could be in your masculine energy, the king of swords energy at this time, speaking the truth, um, even cold as ice. Like if this person comes to you, you may turn them down instantly. And you, I hope you do, because if they tried to harm you before, they have that's not going to change. That They're still going to try to harm you. You have a victory and a yes. You are coming out of the cold. So this person who abused you and wanted you dependent on them, that is not what is happening. Yes, you may have been in poverty for a while, but you are coming out of that. That is the five of pentacles. You are coming out of that. So is that the, the four of cups in reverse? So they wanted you stuck in a situation. The knight of cups. They I look at that as... They traveled towards you to keep you stuck in a situation. They were watching you before they ever approached you. They had bad intentions, so they scoped you out and they saw you as an easy target. Queen of Swords. And someone lied on you. They could have been in their um, feminine energy. They told lies upon you, so they lied and abused you. And they may have even gotten judgments, maybe even core judgments against you in an effort to control you. We'll get some closing messages if there's anything else. Okay, so better late than never. So maybe it took you um, a little time to leave this person, but it's better late than never. If there were um, instances of domestic violence going on, it it's better late than ever, yes. But if you go back to this person, they could ultimately um, end your life. So I would not go back to this person. And that is the silver lining. You're still alive. Whatever abuse happened in the past, you, you're you still here to tell about it. You survived. And if you go back to this person, I that's not going to be the case. There is a secondhand um, motive with this person. It's about control. And they are very, very pissed off that they couldn't control you and dominate you in the first place. So when you go back, it's going to be ten times worse um, when you do go back, if you choose to go back. Place for the other team. This person um, is bisexual and is attracted to men and women. And I also look at that as he is your opposition, or she, if you look at it... Um, you know, um, since I'm a female, I look at it as he, because that is my experience. But this person plays for the other team. He is your opposition. He does not have good intentions when he comes towards you. And this is in the upright. So when he comes towards you, he is still not on your side. It plays for the other team. Even if he's not gay um, or bisexual, he is still your opponent. He is still not playing with you. He is still not um, a team player. He is... He is your enemy, <laughs> to say the least. Oops. That wasn't it, right? Okay. So you are sharp as a tech. You are smart. Even though this person may have tried to cause you brain damage in the past, um, your brain is still intact enough that you are coming up as sharp as a tech. You are in the upright. So you, you're still fine. You're still smart. Um, back against the wall in the reverse. They wanted you backed into a corner. They wanted control of you. This person is not a good person. And from experience, it, I, I experienced it. This person wanted ultimate control. And they wanted you backed up against the wall. And they want to give you the kiss of death. This is the upright. When they come back to you... They want to kiss you, but they may want to finish the job. This person may have even been a hitman. Um, he may have been hired to kill you. And he's coming back to pull the wool over your eyes. This is in the upright, so this is going to happen. If it hasn't happened yet, it's going to. He is going to pull the wool over you, uh, your eyes. <coughs> and he has every intention of giving you the kiss of death. Because he couldn't control you before, so what is he going to do? He is going to go even harder. He didn't just miraculously change his ways and heal himself. 
you need to have clear boundaries with this person, draw the line. You drew boundaries with this person, you left them. Um, you need to maintain those boundaries, rags to riches. So this person, you may have had money when you met this person and he put you in poverty and that was his goal because he needed a way to control you. So he may have taken your money, he was a thief. So if he met you at work and he was spying on you like the cards before said, he was targeting you. The ultimate goal was to steal from you. And if he is trying to give you the kiss of death, there, there's still um, a financial gain. There's something to gain from doing that. And fly the coop. So fly the coop. Stay gone. Do not go back to this person. If you go back to this person, you may not survive the next time. Time is of the essence in reverse. So this person had time to inflict pain on you. He did not ultimately gain control because you flew the coop um, and he's coming back to you. So time was of the essence and he may have ran out of time to come back to you or he may feel like um, enough time has passed that he can, can come back to you now and do not. In the upright, avoid like the plague. At the end of the day, these are the last two cards I pulled. At the end of the day, um, this whole entire reading, it has just been violence, domestic abuse, someone watching and spying and finances and uh, collective. Um, I have personal experience with this. This is, this is my energy. This is my reading, but I am not the only one. And this person, at the end of the day, avoid this person like the plague. Um, if you have experienced all this, um, please seek help, seek counseling if you need to. I'm not a professional, but what I can tell you is if you go back to someone that has harmed you in the past, they will kill you. And I really don't wish that upon anybody. So, um, yeah, that took a drastic turn. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this reading. Um, at all but it all seemed to be based from um the masculine's energy so this person is heavy in your energy and he is coming back so um it's building up you see i don't know if you can see the mountain of cards here um he's working up to it and he's coming back and he's waiting for the opportunity to come back in your life and if he does it it said pull the wool over your eyes and that is in the upright he does not have good intentions coming towards you and um the <laughs> this just really took a bad turn um as always um a cup of love um do everything with a cup of love um but do not <laughs> Do not take this person back. It is, it's not worth your life. It really isn't. This person means nothing but harm to you. They were watching you before they met you. They scoped you out. They thought you were an easy target. And they are still watching you. So they still feel like they have something to gain. Or um, if they're a psychopath or a sociopath, I, I cannot diagnose. But I mean, if they are uh, truly have a mental illness, they could just be pissed off they didn't finish the job and they have every intention of finishing it because you got away and please collective if you have experienced any relationships with domestic abuse or violence um avoid this person that that is my final thought with a cup of love i mean that with the utmost you have a choice you're going to have a choice Someone is going to have a decision to make because the crossroads was came up for my Woodstock cards. You're going to have a decision to make um, this, whether it's between, and two men came up. So it could be this person and another person, but if you take this person back from the past that caused you harm, um, you may not get out of it alive the next time. Um, please, please, please. Um, I offer you a cup of love and with that is wisdom and knowledge and advice and please, please seek any help or counseling if you've experienced any domestic um, violence in the past or if you need someone to speak to, please contact somebody. There's um, There are people, professionals out there that can help you and as someone who has experienced this kind of thing because this is um, technically my energy. 
um, be cautious, um, be aware, um, just, this person is still watching you, he's still lurking in your energy, it came up more than once, this person has every intention of coming back, and mentally prepare yourself for when this person does, because if you are not mentally prepared when this person comes back in, you may fall for the okie doke, and if you fall for the okie doke, as they say, you won't come out of it alive, and that is what I see in these cards, and I hope this helps, and please have a good night, okay? And like I said, as <laughs> I offer you a cup of love, and with that, my wisdom, and I hope this helps. Good night, fam.